So I'm Josh, this is General Marbles, and these are my birds, Flappy and Snoopy, and don't you guys have something to say? So clearly they forgot the lines for what they meant to say was, you're watching fun for Louie. I'm at Surbiton Station again, this time on my own, and I'm heading up to London to meet up with Jack, and I think Finn, and I think Ben's on his way, and a whole bunch of the India lads to visit this uh, hospital for the Teenage Cancer Trust. But I got to bed at like six or like half six because of the mental night I had with Alfie and Steve and Jamal. So I'm a little bit tired because it's only like 9.30 or something. So I've got like three hours sleep. <laughs> Have arrived. Yeah. Yeah. Hello, I'm Harry. Hello, Harry. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. So we are heading up to the ward now, the Teenage Cancer Trust ward. But we we're, we're not going to film there just because kind of respect people's privacy. But we're gonna catch you on the flip side. Hard to eat, hard to sleep. That is a sick view. How cool is that? So we have just come out of the, the ward and it was quite moving, we had a long chat just kind of understanding all the logistics and how it all works there and what the, the process the patients go through and stuff and we got to meet a couple of the patients and um, I guess got to see what the uh, proceeds to the whole India trip and what the fundraising we're doing next week is going to so it was um, yeah, it's really cool and it's uh, it's amazing to see the great work that Teenage Cancer Trust are doing across the country. So it's going to be an honour to be a part of kind of raising some funds towards that. How did you find it, Ben? I thought it was fantastic. I mean, hospitals normally make me quite nervous, but that place was really nice and relaxing, just the decor and the way they put it all together. I mean, the, the guys seemed really chilled and it's a lot about um, creating uh, an environment that you are happy with being in because you don't have a choice whether you have cancer or not but they can make the environment like a really really nice one to make your stay a bit more pleasant you know I love it how did you guys find the the ward yeah it was an amazing experience yeah it's really moving and it's amazing to see what some people are doing to help others I feel lucky to get inside of you into the ward because often you see cancer talks about in the press and stuff and you don't actually go and get to meet a cancer patient meet the nurses that are doing all the work and see the amazing equipment that all you know the funding goes towards so it's a wicked experience. And this is this is Harry, he's one of the other guys coming on the trip. How did you find the experience of going into the ward and stuff man? I thought it was great. Like it was just great to see where it all happens and especially just hear the people that work there and kind of like talk about the place and the patients and it was just kind of like it just gives you a better perspective on what we're doing and why we're doing this and it's, you know where basically the money kind of will be going. I think it's great, you know. But a good time. Sick. It's good. It's good, man. So Harry's off and uh, Jack and Finn have left for a meeting. We've just ducked into some lunch at Pret a and now we're um, taking a little stroll into London. It's a lovely day. A lovely day. A few of you were asking the other day whether I managed to uh, cut my SIM card to fit the iPhone 5. And I did, I successfully did it. But um, it was a second hand iPhone 5 which had a cracked screen so I just dropped it off in a random shop on Tottenham Court Road to get the screen replaced. Um, so whilst that's happening, me and Ben are going to wander down to Covent Garden and have a little wander around the shops. So this is Berg House and Ben has hooked us up with them giving us a few items each towards the trip to India in aid of everything we're doing so it's nice to get a bit of support, it's exciting, let's go and have a look. We've just been showing the ranges of clothes and what we can get. I think I'm going to have to get this guy because he's already bagged this guy. 
think I found the jacket in my size. What do you reckon? It's going to keep me dry in India. It's going to be very, very wet there, we found out today. Oh yeah, I still reckon it's all about the old school colours. Yeah? Red and blue, man. So we got all our stuff sorted, Mo helped us out. And we're now going to go and grab a coffee because I'm pretty tired. jump on the train back down to see Steve. I'm back in Surbiton and jumped to my car and I'm about to go to see Steve. I'm quite tired, considering I literally got like no sleep last night. I've arrived at Stevie's house, yo man. Yeah. Oi, what's up with Sneezy Bay? Bay's got a bit of a cold, she's a bit, a bit got the sniffles a little bit. She's gonna take Bay for a little walk, quick. I'm just finishing off my upload, and then we're going out for a lovely meal. We just arrived in Cobham. I am so hungry. It's it's bad. It's bad how hungry I am. I'm kind of a bit angry. Steve's got some new glasses. What do you guys think? <laughs> yeah, I'm liking those. I call them spectacles. No, I call them spectacles. Oh, look, liver. <laughs> look, liver. Be there. Wait, I hope there's room and stuff. No, me too. Well, I got my bad man burger. What did you get there, Steve? I also got a bad boy burger. Yeah. Yeah. A little bacon, cheese. Dano. <laughs> I'm going to leave Steve. We've been here a couple of hours at his house. Um, he's catching up on some old Breaking Bad. And uh, I'm going to head home. Bye. Peace out, man. Right, I'm going to get some sleep. Catch you guys tomorrow. I'm going to have a fun day in London. Doing some filming and stuff. Peace out, enjoy life, and live the adventure. Boom.